as some dream. But can I tell you that reality, whether you like it or not, you have to adjust your dream as the years pass. If you don't, you will be angry, you will be depressed. Many of us, when we were young, we had a dream. One day I will do this, one day I will do that, one day I will do this. And you had to change your dream. I'm sure you heard the story about the man who was, I said it in this masjid some time back, and I, I want to say it again. The man who was a porter, and he had a dream that one day I will carry the goods of someone who's wealthy, and I'll get some money and I'll do something. So what happened is, he was at the train station, and there was a man who came out of the train, the train with some milk. Milk in a can, a big can. And he was a wealthy man. That time there was a shortage of milk, so to have milk is something big. So he said, can you carry this? This man says, yes, I will carry this for you. And he says, I will give you a nice amount of money, good amount of money for this. So that man puts, the, he took the can and he put it on top of his head. And he was walking, he very happy. Today his dream is coming true. Why? Because I'm going to get a lot of money. And you know, they have a skill. The porters, if you have seen them, they put something on their head. They have a skill to put something on top without holding it. And they can even run, it won't fall. They can even run, it won't fall because they know they are experts in their field. Subhanallah. This young man, he has this thing and he's walking, walking. And that man says, look, whatever you do, don't drop the milk. He said, no, I won't. Don't worry, I won't. So he's walking. And as he's walking, he's thinking to, my, to himself, I'm going to get, say for example, $100 from this man or $10, whatever it was. I will buy two chickens. From there, the chickens will lay eggs. When they lay eggs, I will start selling eggs. Then I will buy more chickens. Before I know it, I'm going to have a foul run. And I will have many chickens, they will lay eggs and I will also start selling the chickens themselves. So I will be now be a person who sells chickens and eggs. And after some time, I will buy some sheep. And then I will have... I will have a little farm and I will be able to grow. On one hand, I have my chickens, my eggs. The other hand, I will have sheep and perhaps goats. I might want to sell some of the milk of the goats and I might end up selling the sheep and I will open a butcher. I will be a butcher. And after some time, I'll buy a big piece of land and I'm going to buy some cows. When I buy the cows, we will sell milk, we will sell cows, we will sell so many things. Wow, I will employ 200, 300 people and I will make sure that everything runs. And he is busy walking with this milk on his head and his plan. His plan. Beautiful plan. It's workable, isn't it? It can work if he works hard and Allah gives him acceptance. They are from amongst us, even maybe sitting here, people who started off with nothing and mashallah, today they have so much. You know that. So it's possible. So he has this dream and then he says, then I will buy a building in the city center. I will buy because now I, when I make money, I can't just leave all my eggs in one basket. I will buy a building in the city center. And after that, I will buy another building and I will give it on rent and I will become one of the biggest, one of the biggest businessmen in this whole land. Then I will go to the king to ask him for his daughter. Did you hear that? I will go to the king because now they will know me. I will be a businessman and I will be the biggest. They will ask me for... They will ask, I will, when he asks, I will then go to them and say, look, I want to marry your daughter. And as he is thinking this, he hit a rock and, he, and, and this, this thing here fell down. So when it fell down, the owner of the milk, he was so upset, he turned around and said, look, what did you do to my milk? I lost my milk. He says, are, are, wait, hang on, relax. You only lost your milk? I lost my chickens, I lost my goats, I lost my eggs, I lost everything. I lost my, I, so many people lost their jobs. And at the same time, I even lost a wife. <laughs> the point I'm raising is you have to adjust your dreams. Because you have a dream. It's not wrong to dream. Dream, please dream. But remember, it's Allah's plan. You will have to adjust. We have idea, oh, I have, I have daughters. Inshallah, I will get them uh, grow, uh, you know, they, they will grow up, mashallah, under me. I will teach them. They will become hafidah of the Quran. They will this. Everyone has a dream. I want my child to become imam of the masjid, to learn Islam, to spread the deen. Everyone has a good dream. I want my child to do this, to do that. You know what? And then you say, I want my child to marry someone, inshallah, who's a really good person. And inshallah, they will have children. I will have grandchildren one day by the will of Allah and whatever, whatever. It's exactly like this man who had his dreams with his you know, can of milk at the top. If anything happens to that can, trust me, you have to adjust your dreams. But Allah will give you something not very far off. If you aim very high with your children, 
inshallah at least you will get halfway there. But if you have no aim, where are you going to go? You have no aim. So I have met young people, I want to memorize the Quran. I want to memorize the Quran. Give me some advice. Memorizing the Quran is not easy. Yes, it's good that you have the, the intention. Start today. You might not finish everything and you might find it difficult. How many children started if and then after a little while they gave up, they found it very difficult. At least they have a link with the Quran. At least now you can read the Quran looking inside properly. Some parents, they say, I want my child to be happy. They push the child, they force the child, they have a problem with the child, they start fighting with the child and the child goes in and the child starts learning Quran and they me memorize one juice and then they give up after a big fight. You don't realize that while I was trying to make my child a full hafid, at least now they can read the Quran very beautifully looking inside. That's a bonus. That's a bonus. Have you thought of it? But if you didn't even plan that, they wouldn't Allah, even have Allah.